KCRA 3 investigates PG&E is currently installing millions of smart meters in neighborhoods all across the state. The complaint in the Sacramento area continues to be huge spikes in power bills. And now there's a new smart meter concern out there. KCRA 3's Lindsay Paulo investigates. Can your smart meter really make you sick? In September, homeowners pleaded with the California Public Utilities Commission. I am desperate, fighting for my life. They're calling for an emergency moratorium on PG&E smart meters to stop the power giant from installing new wireless gas and electric meters. The smart meter uh, is especially dangerous to the, to pu the public health. A Sebastopol-based group that studies the health impacts of electromagnetic fields, or EMF, and radio frequency radiation is collecting data they say proves smart meters are a health hazard. Many of the people getting sick say they suffer from a condition called electrical sensitivity. Chest pain and heart palpitation. Really searing ear pain. I get nauseous. They say exposure to smart meters makes their symptoms worse. The trouble is a lot of times people don't connect the dots between their, their health symptoms and electrical exposure because you wouldn't expect it. PG&E says digital meters transmit relatively weak RF signals, much like a cell phone or a baby monitor. And the farther you are away from the meter, the signal drops off. The World Health Organization says there is no convincing scientific evidence that weak RF signals from wireless networks cause health problems. Smart meters emit about one watt, less than cell phones, which some research finds riskier because they are held to the head. PG&E says its meters comply with federal safety standards. Radio frequency is around us. Uh, smart meters are a very small measure of that if you they are well within what you find in common ordinary household appliances and far within FCC guidelines. San Rafael Assemblyman Jared Huffman isn't convinced. He's asked the California Council on Science and Technology to examine smart meters and whether current FCC standards are sufficient to protect public health. You know, I think that's going to be hugely helpful to take this debate from one based on sort of fear and a dismissive response to that fear and, and try to inject some independent, credible science. Others want the California Public Utilities Commission to step in. And I think we have a right to have the liberty to choose. And I think in both these cases, that's taken away from us. PG&E is moving forward with installation. There is no resolution for people who say these meters are ticking time bombs. My choice now is, uh, unfortunately, I may have to leave. I may have to move from my house, but where do I go? In Sebastopol, Lindsay Paulo, KCRA 3 Night Team. Now, in Sacramento, SMUD is using the same smart meter technology as PG&E, but says they have received only a half dozen calls related to health concerns. SMUD says it is doing extensive RF testing before fully deploying hundreds of thousands of those smart meters.